好，咁啊十四到十六条咧就系有关于科学探究嘅，我哋就想去研究一下喺唔同嘅环境因素底下，对一个大叶嘅枝条咧，佢嗰个失水嘅速率、哦，咁啊好快咁样讲讲啦，呢、這个。環境因素就係我哋嘅 I V 啦，咁呢個失水嘅速率啦就係我哋嘅 D V 啦。咁啊，呢個 D V 我點樣去顯示出嚟呢？你見到啦，今次呢個裝置呢，佢唔係任何類型嘅蒸騰計嚟嘅，又唔係氣泡嘅蒸騰計 Bobo p o t o m e t e r 亦都唔係重量蒸騰計 Weight p o t o m e t e r 咁我點樣去知道呢棵植物個失水速率快定係慢呢？咁原來我哋就將呢個大葉嘅枝條啦，擺咗喺一兜呢紅色嘅墨水嗰樹。咁我五個鐘之後啦，咁我哋就將呢個枝條呢不斷咁樣切切切切切，不斷咁打橫切打橫切 ，cutting from the top 由個頂開始切，直至到見到紅色嘅橫切面為止。即係我由個枝條由頂開始。斩咯，斩一下，诶、哎，未见到红色，继续斩，继续斩，诶、哎，斩到嚟、这个、有有呢一度啦，见到呢个环切面有红色咧，咁我就收手啦。然后题目就讲啦，再度下呢一个嘅长度系几多，咁你可想而知啦。咁而家咧个题目系问紧 transpiration 失水啊嘛，系咪？失完水之后啦，就系点啊？就係、是、吸水咯喎 ，water uptake 或者 water absorption 啦。咁如果叫吸水嘅時候啦，如果一棵植物吸水吸得越快，咁即係話啦，如果我將嗰個環境因素改變咗，我就發現啦，哇，斬到幾多？斬斬斬斬斬到嚟呢度先見到紅色嘅話啦，咁就剩低返嘅長度係咪即係短好多啊？咁即係話原來喺嗰個環境因素底下呢，嗰棵植物吸水呢，其實都係吸得較為慢啊嘛。同樣都係五個鐘啫嘛，係咪？咁啊，同樣五個鐘，哇！你吸到嚟呢度喎，咁咪即係棵植物吸水吸得快啲啊！咁所以喺呢一條題目當中咧，其實都係考緊我哋有關於吸水同埋失水之間嘅關係嘅，所以我哋就量度翻，正如枝條嘅長度。咁呢個正如枝條嘅長度咧，其實就係我哋嘅參數啦 ，parameter of measurement。量度的參數，好快咁温一温，咩叫做失水 （transpiration） 啦？原來啦，失水就會產生蒸騰牽引力，去幫助棵植物咧去運送水分同埋礦物質，同一時間亦都幫助到棵植物去吸水嘅。咁所以點解由先失而後吸呢個概念啦，亦都俾我哋知得到啦。不斷斬斬斬斬斬，哦 ，cut 到嚟呢度係咁長，或者 cut 到嚟呢度係咁短，個意思就係吸水快或者係吸水慢咯。咁而家啦，題目就問以下邊一個嘅步驟咧，係對於設置呢個裝置係緊要嘅？咁呢個題目啦，要學翻我哋技巧，就係講緊做一個有關於蒸騰作用嘅實驗，究竟有啲咩嘅 precaution， 有啲咩要留意嘅咧？咁作為一個我哋設置實驗嘅時候，首先要留意嘅嘢，咁我哋就諗啦。咁究竟我想見到嘅係咩先？就係、是、有啲紅色嘅墨水真係入咗去個大葉枝條當中嘅。咁而家我哋嚟做一擊破咯。第一句就講啦，我哋要查啲花市檸喺個葉底嗰樹。咁其實呢一句咧係錯嘅，查啲花市檸喺葉底嗰樹，即係意味住啦，我哋淨係想去量度下咧個葉面嘅失水啊。因為你封住咗葉底啊嘛，係咪？但係問題就係話啦，今次個實驗係想知道成棵大葉嘅枝條啊嘛，有冇話啊？就我淨係想知葉面定葉底嘅失水勁啲啊？今次唔係想比較呢一樣嘢，今次想比較嘅係喺不同嘅環境因素底下，究竟棵植物嘅失水速度係幾快啊？所以呢一句啦係唔成立嘅，咁第一句就已經四 g o o d b y 再加上你將個花市檸查咗喺個葉底嘅話咧，你更加係會減慢咗棵植物嘅失水。再加上啦，提多一次大家啦，今次嘅實驗所量度嘅嘢係棵植物吸咗幾多水，再做翻個估算，究竟棵植物失水失得幾快？咁所以第一句就錯咗啦。第二句咧，佢就講啦，要喺嗰個紅色嘅墨水上面咧加浸油俾佢。咁咁我加浸油俾佢啦，就係咁樣負責。咁啊，加咗呢浸油有冇特別之處咧？嗱，咁其實呢一個步驟咧，喺嗰兩款嘅蒸騰計我哋係見過嘅。咁但係呢一句呢，係題目音嚟嘅，因為呢句根本就唔關事。加浸油喺個紅色嘅墨水上面，的確係避免咗呢啲水係喺個紅色墨水嗰度去蒸走。但係今次啦，你係咪量度緊呢個水位嘅變化？你唔係量度緊水位變化啊嘛，你量度緊嘅係喺個枝條入面不斷咁切切切切切，切到幾時就見到呢個紅色嘅墨水啊嘛，係咪？
。咁所以啦，今次呢兜水佢蒸发走咗，关我咩事啊？我唔在乎啊，我唔似喺呢个 weight potometer 重量蒸腾计，因为我惊啲水蒸发走咗啊。咁所以呢，到四 goodbye， 咁答案都呼之欲出啦，就係、是、第三句啦，就係、是、将个大笔枝条嘅下部分，就喺、是、个红色嘅墨水嗰处去剪佢啦。咁呢个 precaution 我哋就一定要做啦，因为我唔想喺一个暴露于空气嘅环境当中。剪嗰個枝條，從而就有啲氣泡入咗個木質部，阻擋住我嗰個連續嘅水流。所以第三句就係答案咯。咁啊呢個題目啦，有咩嘅題型變奏呢？今次用 M C 嘅方式去問你，邊部最緊要啊？咁下次就問你咯，點解我要喺紅色嘅墨水當中去剪嗰個大葉枝條嘅下部呢？係咪先？咁你就用文字解釋俾我聽啦噃。So let's take a look at question 14 to 16. It's about the investigation about the effect of the environmental factors on the transmission rate of a leafy shoot. You can see the environmental factor, which is the IV, and then the transmission rate will be the DV. So what do we do? We put the leafy shoot in the beaker of red color solution, and after five hours, the cross section of the shoot will cut, starting from the top until red color appear in the cut section. And then we measure the length of the remaining shoot. So what does it mean? It means that after five hours, we cut from the top, and then cut, 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 and then let's see. So let's say I cut here, and then I see the red color in the stem in the shoot. So I measure the length of the remaining shoot. Or maybe next time I keep cutting, cut, 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 and then I see the red color here. So I measure the length here. So you can see that the length of the remaining shoot is the parameter of measurement. So actually, what do we measure? We are measuring the water uptake because. According to the textbook, the significance of the transpiration, transpiration creates the transmission pool for the transport of water and minerals in the xylem vessel. Also, it helps the absorption of water by the root. So, from this concept, we can recall that for the transpiration, which means the water loss, and then this water loss will lead to water uptake. So we have the water loss and then water uptake. So firstly, transpiration comes first, and then secondly, we have the uptake of water. Therefore, for the length of the remaining shoot, it refer to the uptake of water, and we can use this data to estimate the transpiration rate. Because I also give them five hour, and for five hour, so for the uptake could be in this length or in this length. So we can compare the water absorption rate. And the question is asking which of the following steps is or are necessary when preparing the setup. Checking us the skills about the precaution for the investigation on the transmission rate of a plant. So what do we want to do? We would like to make sure that. The red color solution enter the leafy shoot. So let's go through the steps one by one. Smear the vaseline onto the lower surface of the leaf. Actually, it's a way to make sure that there is only water loss from the upper surface of the leaves because the lower surface of the leaves they are blocked by the vaseline. So it's not the idea because in this. Experiment. I just would like to investigate the effect of the environmental factor on the transmission rate of a leafy shoot. Is it about the upper surface or the lower surface? No, no, no. I'm investigating for the whole shoot. Therefore, number one, say goodbye. And then statement one is also wrong because by doing this, smearing the vaseline on the lower surface of the leaf, it will slow down the transpiration and water absorption. Therefore, we cannot get the data what we want, right? And then statement number two. And then statement number two. A layer of oil on the surface of the red color solution. So I add the oil here on the surface of the red color solution. Actually, this step is not necessary. Although you will see this precaution in the potometer. No matter the weight potometer or the bubble potometer. However. Is it a potometer? It's not. I don't care about the water level changes.、I、just care how much water can the leafy shoot absorb, 
right? Therefore, statement two is the powerful distractor. It can prevent the evaporation of water from the red color solution. Yes, I agree. However, it's irrelevant to the whole experiment. Therefore, option two is also wrong. Therefore, the final answer will be B, free only. So let's take a look at this statement. Cut the lower end of the leafy shoot under red color solution. We see this precaution in both of the potometers, right? Because it makes sure there is a continuous water stream along the silent vessel and no bubble formed in the silent vessels. So that's what we need to do for preparing this setup. So any possible question variation, this time I ask you in the MC format. Next time I ask you in structural question format. Explain why the lower end of the leafy shoot is cut under the red color solution. So you need to explain me by writing your own answer.